Hello everyone, this is a psychic prediction video for August 2024. It is currently July 29th, just a couple days before the month starts. And in this video, I'm going to be discussing psychic predictions for the US leaders, past and present, world news in general, Bitcoin price prediction, and the effect of the energy coming from the earth on the auric field and how that may influence you and what may be good and bad for you to do during this month. So the first thing that was coming to me in meditation when I was tuning into the past leader of the US and I'm not going to say specific names because I use certain um, Google um, products that don't allow me to advertise my content on them if I say these names. So I will just say the leader of the past that starts with the letter T. I saw him for August actually not being too happy. I was seeing a vision of something sneaking up on him, him looking over his shoulder and there just being this general lack of trust. There seems to be some sort of new surprise for him. This is not like a buildup of things that may have been coming his way for a while. This is just kind of something that comes out of the blue and shocks him. And again, it's as if he's kind of being betrayed by people he felt he could trust more. Um, there seems to be just a sense of um, almost arrogance where he's coming from that suddenly dissipates and he realizes that he cannot um, be as confident as he thought he could. And I don't mean this within politics. I mean this within the people around him that he can trust. And this isn't like family, this is more so like people in politics. So um, I heard him say, I'm out. Those were the words that came to me. So I'm not sure if this means that this could lead to him dropping out of the campaign trail or maybe taking a break something like that is definitely coming up and it's possible this could lead eventually to him not winning but I'm not going to say that because there's so many future timelines that all get entangled that's why I do these predictions each month before the month rather than going gears out too much because you know, nothing is fully set in stone. Some things are more so close to being set in stone than others. And as you go further out in time, things get more blurry. So moving on to the current leader that starts with a B. I see him doing much better this month. I get the sense of him feeling unstuck. And although there is a sense of loss and, um, you know, the situation going on with him, he feels as if there is a burden being lifted from his shoulders. So he is doing better because a lot of what he was doing was actually for other people. It wasn't really that he wanted to continue doing what he was doing. It was more that he felt the obligation to keep going. But now that he doesn't have that anymore, he seems to be doing much better, actually. So, moving on to Israel. I was seeing panicking, as if there's um, some sort of panic going on for the leaders of Israel. I'm seeing Israel working with other countries to the west and I'm not really talking about the US 
there may be some collaboration there, but I'm talking more the countries that there are conflict with um, to the west of Israel. Um, there's less com there's less um, focus on Palestinians, less emphasis on that, and more emphasis on other countries. So I'm seeing the escalation with the Palestinians kind of slowing down, but it's kind of ramping up in other areas of the world. So there's also some alliances that I'm seeing with other countries re regarding Israel, and I'm seeing Israel kind of rethinking some of their strategy, some of their um, previous plans, and um, deciding to become a little bit less aggressive. And this, you know, there's a lot of news about, um, you know, people in the U.S. putting more pressure on on him to create a ceasefire and whatnot, and that doesn't really seem to be the reason why primarily, although I think that is a reason, but it seems that it's because of all these other countries that are, you know, to the west of them, um, the general sense is, I get it, is to the west of of Israel, whatever these countries are, they seem to be the reason why Israel is kind of toning it down a little bit because they're they're seeing the ganging up, and this is something I've predicted previously: the ganging up of many um, other countries against um, Israel and the West, and that seems to be continuing. So. What I was seeing for the U.S. in particular, well, it seems to be somewhat of a calming down energy on one level for the nervous system, energetically, but there's also a lot going on in people's heads at the same time, so it's kind of a weird contradiction there. But I was seeing this energetic black tar-like energy around the US um, and it was kind of more specifically like California and that area but it was also the whole US as a whole and I was seeing a symbol of a wheel that's turning but it's stuck in the tar and the wheel is representing time and it's slowly able to turn more and more but it's it's been kind of stuck um, and even though it represents time, it's also representing progression and kind of cleansing things out. So um, things have been kind of not able to move forward throughout time. That's the, the vision, the symbol that I was seeing for the U.S. and this kind of black energy. But we're clearing through this energy is a sense because the wheel is starting to spin more. When I asked more about what is this um, black energy, it's like kind of like black goo, if you want to call it that, I saw a vision of an evil witch woman that showed up, and she was kind of manipulating people's minds and creating negative thoughts, and um, this was more so a symbol representing outdated thoughts and how our mind can kind of take charge and not really allow us to be in charge of our own thoughts. So our thoughts can just kind of go all over the place. And so this is something to be very careful for people in the US in particular. Um, but then I saw the vision of an apple and it was like this apple represents knowledge and there was something very refreshing to like the idea of taking a bite out of this apple because this apple is the knowledge and the truth that is coming through in the month of August to clear out all this black gooey gunk from the mind so that it can spin properly again and function better. So this is um, 
actually a really big deal and there may be a lot of unpleasant truths coming up that people may be learning um, about such as what is true and what is not true and this can be very easy for some people and very difficult for other people so for some people they'll be celebrating for other people this will be very challenging for them and you know it's not so much black or white you're not really necessarily going to be one or the other you may be one in one area of your life but the other in a different area of your life the sense that I get when I ask why is this happening in the US specifically it's because the US has kind of dodged a lot of hardship in a way and so the US is slowly catching up to the rest of the world that has kind of been through this experience already because of what well, you'd like the saying that diamonds are created from pressure or I don't know the exact saying but the, I, that's the idea of it that the pressure is what creates the diamond so to speak and so that pressure is really kind of coming to the US more where people are being pushed a little bit more outside of their predisposed narrative and assumptions and lies that they've believed their whole life so this is a month um, where that seems to be a big deal I'll get more into that later but for now I want to get to Bitcoin so Bitcoin it looks like it starts off good at the start of the month then it gets to some rocky terrain a little bit back and forth nothing too bad but towards the end of the month it seems like it starts to come down and um, then September I'm seeing more volatility and challenges for Bitcoin and as also November looks very similar November I've been kind of warning about for a while now and about six months ago I mentioned altcoins could be challenging and November and it seems like Bitcoin as well and the general stock market so um, that may be something to watch out for around September November time but then it seems to start doing better okay so moving on to the stock market I'm seeing the stock market mostly moving sideways for August um, I don't see any major crashes in the stock market I know that's a big question and I don't normally include the stock market all the time but I felt like that was something on people's minds and I'm not seeing a major crash this month at least maybe closer to September November time maybe more around there so last month I want to talk about the previous leader of the United States that would be the person starting with a B who stepped down recently um, from uh, running again that is and I just want to say that um, I did say two months ago May 28th I put out a video saying that this month would be a particularly bad month for him and I'm not talking about August coming up I'm talking about July which it is now July 29th and so it does seem that that has come true it was a very bad month for him and now I know why that was showing up for me I also want to go over some other small things here I was also seeing the old system dissolving away I'm continuing to see that but that was the main theme of July um, I was seeing many small explosions representing um, things escalating and then kind of dissipating and dissolving when they explode and not leading to any sort of bigger situation but um, kind of actually dissipating the um, tension although the tension is rising overall on a different level but these little tiny things that people seem to think are going to trigger some sort of big event um, were kind of fizzing out and so again um, I also said that there was going to be some sort of major event where the escalation was avoided because I was also hearing 
other people talking about some sort of major escalation for July and what I was getting was that it was an escalation avoided so um, I think that makes sense now that we have seen um, what happened on the campaign trail for the um, previous leader that starts with T who um, had a close very close call and um, that would have probably created a major escalation but um, as I was seeing it looked like it was avoided. I also titled last month prediction um, elite crying rivers of tears and here we are now with the uh, Secret Service the uh, leader of the Secret Service stepping down um, not only that but um, there's you know this is kind of controversial to call it the elite but I would call it the elite because I believe the Mexican government is working with a lot of cartel members and these cartel members I would call them kind of like the corrupt elite leaders of the world on some level maybe not officially but regardless they work with the government uh, especially the Mexican government and so El Mayo, May, I don't know how to say his name, but anyways, he worked with El Chapo in the cartel, and he was, the apparently people have been looking for him for 35 years, and he is a, um, a, the, the top leader of the, um, of a certain cartel in Mexico, and he got caught, um, in July, so there we go, um, there's lots of these elite, uh, corrupt people kind of being taken down. Um, so here we go. Or I don't necessarily want to say corrupt. I'm going to not jump to that conclusion. I'm just going to say people that are elite and, you know, people that you think of as elite, such as the Secret Service, those types of people being taken down. Okay, so solar flares was also something that I was seeing. And yes, I have more about the future. I'm just trying to get through this stuff really quick about what has happened and kind of making sense of last month's predictions. Last month I was talking about how there will be more solar flares and how this can affect, affect people energetically, spiritually, psychologically, and how it can affect technology. And I was even giving an example of what I uh, recently, um, well, I walked past it before it happened. And then a week later, the spot that I had walked by, there's like this carnival ride that got stuck upside down for a very long time. Never happened before. It was big news. Um, there's all sorts of uh, weird technology glitches. I don't know if you've noticed, but I've noticed that and I was saying that that is going to be that that had been happening and that's going to continue to happen for July last month and um, what do you know there was a supposed Microsoft update that um, caused a bunch of systems to shut down and apparently it was kind of disrupting for a lot of people around the world or the US at least um, they're they're saying that it was a Microsoft update and I'm not sure if that's the direct cause of it or if the direct cause was the solar flares but I'm pretty sure that regardless of what the direct cause was it was of it in a indirect way if not direct way I do believe that the solar flares were at least synchronistic in the way that they may have influenced the direct cause to happen in the way that astrology can influence things to happen even if it's not the direct cause it's more the energy that caused the direct cause to happen in the first place however you want to look at it whether it was the solar flares directly doing it or something else that caused it I think that is very synchronistic I don't think that that was a coincidence 
and um, yeah I think that there may be some solar flares continuing but maybe not quite as many as there were in July so another thing that I also mentioned and this is kind of anecdotal for me but I was also saying that these solar flares are going to be causing potential clumsiness for people to potentially stub their toe or something like that and of course that's been something that I've observed around me and of course I have all these cuts on my shin ironically I actually was bleeding out of my shin this month because of walking into things and hurting myself so that's kind of anecdotal but I feel that this is an effect of the solar flares and um, something I predicted last month would happen for this month um, so that's basically going over what happened last month and just kind of explaining it but I want to talk more about what's coming up in August so August um, you know I was getting this quick vision of someone getting killed in prison or jail that is important but I kind of got the sense that it's not necessarily that big of a deal either it's just something that flashed through my mind so I thought I'd include it um, but anyways this is a really good month here coming up August for grounding uh, and meditation and also grounding meditation which is where you're able to ground yourself to the center of the planet in meditation energetically and I don't mean like grounding by walking around with no shoes sure you can do that but um, I mean more specifically energetically through uh, meditation um, this is because of the energy kind of quieting down a little bit so it's been kind of a crazy time lately energetically but August is like the breather finally it's kind of the eye of the storm I would say actually so it's actually a really good time to take some time off for yourself um, it's also a really good time for being by yourself and being able to give yourself the time to contemplate things this is very important I feel like probably if you're feeling anything like me you're probably feeling a little burnt out from the energies recently and um, you may require that and so this this is the month where that's allowed to happen finally so you can let the dust settle I was also getting that this month is really good for creative hobbies like music and um, self-expression especially if you're learning to express yourself on a whole new level that you usually don't allow yourself to go down into and this can be related to giving yourself that space from other people and other things to give yourself the room to be able to do that so that's that seems to be really important for this month um, so what's bad for this month is trying to hang out with people that you don't really vibe with so that's something to avoid if you can there may be a sense of feeling trapped with social expectations with family or friends so you know situations like that you may want to see if you can avoid if, you, if you're able to um, group settings um, again are not ideal I'm not saying you shouldn't be in a group setting at all I'm just saying that it's not um, resonating as well with August as it would with most months and this is because we're developing a a, a sense of individuality and um, kind of recovering from all the energies of the last two months really and we're getting ready for what's coming up um, September so um, just kind of, kind of go back two months ago June was more about synchronizing all the layers of the auric field to work together as a holistic um, single unit 
and then July, which it is now as I'm recording this, it's more about um, embodying that wholeness and the totality in your body and being able to live it and um, express it. And August is more about being able to, to rest and um, integrate this further into your body, but also to give yourself the space to discover uh, new things. And this can be discovering your own creativity, your own intuition, but also discovering a lot of um, new ideas that break old patterns and old assumptions. So September is going to be crazy um, energetically again. So I don't know if you've been feeling it, but it's kind of like this just really intense energy that where I just feel wound up and it's hard to ground. And this is a lot of the energy uh, frequency shifting because we are shifting to higher frequencies. But along with that, our body has to keep up. And it's a lot on the body and it can be a lot on the nervous system. So um, whether it's affecting you or the people around you, you're still feeling that kind of that energy that's just wound up and um, it's time to kind of relax a little bit more into August. That's why I'm calling it the eye of the storm. So um, time has been allocated to us to recover. I was getting the sense that this may sound, well, it may sound kind of crazy, but I'm just going to say it, that there are ETs that are helping us um, with this and they're um, somewhat responsible for the increase in the vibration I would say they're, they're the main cause really but I think humans would have done it on their own naturally anyways but it would have been a lot more catac well there would have been a lot more um, cataclysm and a lot more pain and death and um, things like that but we're able to kind of skip some of that because of the collective consent of humanity because on a big kind of like average um, level of, of everyone collectively, we've all averaged out to be in favor of this rather than um, not increasing the frequency. And so there's... There's these um, ET beings that are helping us with that. Um, big changes for September, October through November. Those are the three months out of this year that seem particularly really intense. Like there could be some crazy stuff that happens in the next, well, that would be four months from now because it's not August yet, but after August, those three months are going to be interesting. Um, we'll see what happens. About six months ago, I was, you know, talking about how November could be bad for altcoins. Um, and now I'm hearing other people saying similar predictions about November as well. I also was um, predicting at the, before 2024 that this year sorry I predicted in 2020 like four years ago that 2024 would be a um, challenging year economically and so I believe that that's primarily going to be somewhere around October November September as well though so there's this intense energy that we're feeling and it's going to be slowing down into August but the world is still um, very confusing so it's kind of contradictory because the the energy that, that we're feeling because of this push um, to increase the frequency that's um, dissipating kind of like you can only do so many push-ups before you reach burnout so we're getting a break now but at the same time there's all this kind of um, after effect 
and um, the world is crazy and it's like it's spinning in our heads and our heads are just spinning so there's a lot of challenge around that and people are learning to um, to adapt to that and people are learning more of their authentic truth for themselves on a personal level but also on a macro um, level where people may be seeing more of the lies around the world exposed and a lot of truth will be coming out this month um, August so um, people are realigning their perspective you will be realigning your perspective no matter how enlightened you think you may be um, so make sure to have quiet time to contemplate and I will leave you with some advice here that came to me when I asked for some general advice for the month I got take the time to find your own answers and I would emphasize your own answers that's the important part because there's going to be a lot of answers floating around but you want to take the time to find your answers so you can always um, find out more about what's going on in the world on my patreon page where you can join for free um, for a seven day trial and then it's really easy to cancel it's just you click on like options or something and then you click membership and then you click cancel it's really that simple after you uh, after the seven day trial is up you can always just put a reminder on your phone I encourage people to at least check it out and um, you can always create additional accounts and continue to do that process over and over if you feel like it no problem I talk a lot about um, what's going on in the world I talk more specifically about things that I can't necessarily talk about or don't necessarily want to talk about on YouTube of course I do Bitcoin predictions and tons of altcoin predictions and my personal favorite thing that I do there is um, the cheapest thing it's only five bucks a month to get tons of these blind readings and I do like three a month still where um, three times a month I'll post a blind reading on a random person that's influential and very important in the world and um, these are not like my neighbors or something that would be totally inappropriate these are public figures so it's it's a little bit different it's not like I'm invading their personal privacy these are people who are having major effect on the planet and so I don't feel that it's a, an invasion of privacy this is more like an inspection into um, the state of reality and what's really going on and that's a big deal so sometimes you have to you know do an investigation even if it's um, you know reading someone someone in particular that didn't come to you for a reading. Some people say that you shouldn't do that and it creates bad karma. I agree on some level, but I think there's, there's nuance to that, of course. So anyways, these are random people who are big influencers in the world or they're making big claims about certain things in the world that are public figures. And I write their name down with a certain number and then I keep track of that and I have another um, well it's digital and not literally picking a random number but I do pick a random number um, on my computer and I do a reading on that number alone not knowing who it is not knowing the name and then after I do the reading I look up the name and I see who it is so um, check that out on my patreon page if you want to see um, kind of more what's going on in the world and also know that it's a blind reading so my own filters are less influential on what I think is happening and it's really more just pure just reading besides for that if you watched all the way give this video a thumbs up leave a comment that always helps with the algorithm I always appreciate that and um, subscribe for psychic predictions every month before the month 
and uh, thank you for watching and have a great day.